giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Hello everyone, welcome to the first ever Israeli region recap. I'm Itamar. I'm Roy. And I'm Lido. Uh, we've had a crazy week at Israel. Uh, Roy, why don't you start with talking about the first event? So the first is event was really strong. Uh, Orbit 6090 started very strong like always. They made a very consistent uh, two hatch panel to the rocket in sandstorm and a very consistent climb and ranked first with three ranking score. The rest of the event was dominated by uh, climbers like uh, 17, 1574 Miss Car and 1577 Steampunk, whilst uh, Falcon 3338 was very surprising with their cargo score. At playoff, uh, 1690 paired with 70, 1577 and 6736, Knight of the Sea. And first, a very hard defense from the 8th and 5th Alliance, but made it with their climb advantage. In the second semis, the number 2 Alliance of 3338 and 70, <laughs> 1574 and 5135, the Black Unicorns, face the number three alliance of Elysium 1937 and Green Blitz 4590, and Kfargalim 1573. With one one tie after two matches, the number two alliance made it with a really dominant cargo play by Falcons, while Miscar play have really good counter defense. The finals uh, were really strong from the second alliance. Play a great defense to shut down both Steampunk and uh, Orbit and made it through uh, in, in two matches. In the award section, uh, the rookie author took Green Rockets 75 54 uh, for in the first ever event. The engineering inspiration was took by El Zarawi 61-68 in the second time in a row. And the Germans was dominated by the powerhouse Germans team, 32-11, white team from Yerucham. It was the fifth ever Germans banner from them. Okay, sounds great. Um, Lidor, any thoughts about this event? Um. We saw, uh, especially in the first event, a lot of defense playing um, very strong and aggressive defense. Um, in the second event, we saw that the referees um, make more, more decision about fouls and try to reduce the aggra aggressiveness. Um, yeah. that, that's it, yeah. Uh, we saw a really strong shutdown uh, around the rocket when uh, some teams like Orbit uh, try to go strong in playoffs. It was super aggressive, while other uh, cargo cyclers like Elysium, like Falcons, uh, found a lot of success uh, to handle with defense around the cargo ship. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it was easy to, to, to see that uh, the cargo ship is more forgiven uh, than, than putting hatches in the rocket. And I think it's, it was the, the difference between Falcons who win the event and the Orbit uh, and Steampunk that try to play 
into the rocket even in the finals yeah but uh, also uh, the diversity of being able to play both the cargo ship and the rockets is also very important so uh, I mean I guess we'll see that more uh, in the next week exactly I think it will be very important but in the first event of the week uh, in week one the mm -hmm. cargo ship make the the tone mm -hmm. okay so let's talk a bit about the second event um, usually the second uh, district event in Israel is much more calm but uh, this year it wasn't so uh, the quals of the of this event was purely dominated by uh, 33 39 bumblebee uh, while the rest of the teams competed for the second place, Bumblebee just kept climbing each match and winning most of them. Uh, they finished first with 2.36 RPs. Uh, other than 33-39, the table was very dynamic through most of the event. Uh, in the end, the margin uh, of RPs between, uh, between the third place uh, 50-38 Megiddo uh, to the 11th place, uh, which was a 56-35 Demacia, was only two ranking points. So a very dynamic table. Um, the playoffs were extremely long, as we played about five tiebreakers out of seven possible. Uh, the first seeded alliance made of a 33-39 Bumblebee, uh, last year world champions. Uh, 3075 a dream team and 5990 uh, trigon faced the powerful eighth uh, alliance which was made mostly of out of teams that could climb very well uh, like uh, 5951 ma 6738 and 1942 uh, they also faced in the semis the heavy defense fifth alliance uh, which was laid by uh, by um, 6736 uh, Knights of the Sea. Um, the second seeded alliance of uh, 3316 uh, debug, uh, powerhouse team uh, 2630 Thunderbolts and 1573 Kvargalim uh, also didn't have an, uh, an easy run when they had to go in semis against. Uh, 6104 Desert Eagles, 5654 Phoenix with their amazing ramp, and 2096 Roboactive. Uh, at the first final match, 3316 got stuck on their habitat and made Trigon's job of playing defense much easier, as they could focus solely on uh, 2630 Emek um, At the second match, the second match was uh, also won by the first alliance, as the excellent climbing ability of 33-39 handed them the win. Uh, so, congrats for 15990 uh, Trigon for the first banner. Um, congrats also for uh, 3075, which won the second event for the, I don't know, it's the third time in a row, I believe. They're winning the second event. Um, and also for uh, Bumblebee, which played amazing. Um, in the award section, we had a uh, 78-45 taking the Rookie All-Star. A uh, surprising 45-86 Primo uh, that won the EI. And a uh, well-known 2096 Roboactive uh, who got the chairmans after being the chairman's finalist at Worlds last year. Um, I think we saw a really difference with the climber ability when in this event the number of climbers was uh, much smaller than the first event and we saw the power of Bumblebee when they were the only strong alliance that could climb and those uh, 12 points were a really big difference. I want to add a few words uh, about 56-54 Phoenix. Uh, each year they build in their capabilities and we can show that the RAB already um, make 
a, a very effective in um, in the second event, and I believe that choosing to focus about lifting a robot to the third to the third um, level and scoring balls to the cargo ship, um, it's a smart choice and. Like every every year, they are successful uh, and doing what they choose to do and not trying to do everything. Mm -hmm. Very it's good also, strategy. It's I also a good choice for uh, <laughs> uh, for teams who don't have uh, that much of uh, the teams that can't uh, manufacture a lot of parts in factories or uh, that stuff. I mean, it's a good choice for low-budget teams uh, around the world. Uh, yeah, it's, we, it's, it's a smart choice. We don't see it a lot in Israel, and they are doing it every every year successfully. And I hope more team in in this that um, that have the same resources will choose next year to. To build in the same strategy and focusing in their capabilities. We saw a double qualifying to Worlds in 2017 and 2018, and I think they do it really consistent in their stuff. Gears in 27 and uh, uh, Vault and Switch in 2018, and I ho hope for them for a very good success this year as well. Okay, so uh, we were actually at the first event and we made a Behind the Bumpers video with Orbit 6090. So um, let's see it. I'm Itamar and I'm in the first Israel district with Yair and Oz from Orbit 6090. Yair, uh, please explain us about your elevator. Okay, so this is a pretty simple three stage continuous elevator. Um, what, what makes it unique? is these very long constant force springs at the back. What they do is they equilibrate, equilibrate the system. They basically make it weightless. So if I try to move it with my, just my finger, it's really easy. And it, and it stays in place. Not because of friction or anything like that, simply because of the force of the springs. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very quick. It has uh, a cycle rate of about two meters per second. And yeah. Okay, great. Uh, we saw your autonomous. It worked re really well. Can you explain more about it? Okay. So autonomous is we basically make a profile that the robot needs to follow, and then we follow it by a, a Talon SRX function of velocity control, and then and to make it really consistent, we use the limelight vision processing to and integrate it with the profile so it does the same thing over and over again. Okay, great. So the competition now is look, uh, it looks uh, really great. Uh, what are your plans for tomorrow? Uh, just play well, continue, continue with the same strategy, just being very consistent, doing autonomous over and over again, filling up more rockets and uh, yeah. Okay, great, excellent, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about the, uh, the top 10 teams of this week. Uh, Lidor, do you want to explain a bit about the process before uh, getting the teams? Okay, yeah. So we got uh, 15 Israeli FRC Masters uh, and we got the top 10 of each one of them and make uh, a calculation of the top 10 Israeli teams for uh, event one, two. Um, I will start and it introduce the 10th seed, um, 32, 11, the white team, Yerucham. So Yerucham played in uh, the first event and made it to the quarterfinals with the first pick of the Six Alliance. A great uh, hatch panel robot who put really good to all the floors of the rocket and the cargo ship. Well, they had a really, really unique uh, turret for uh, cargo placing. Although in the first event, uh, it's a bit wacky and they couldn't put uh, the cargo as well as they wanted. And the third level climber wasn't really working. It was still one of the best robots in, at the event and can do really well 
in the next events? I believe um, with improving the reliability of the climbing mechanism and the cargo's uh, turret, this robot got a really real potential this year. Mm -hmm. And we will move to the ninth seed, 2630, Thunderbolts and McHefer. Um, so during most of the qualification matches in event two, we saw a big improvement uh, uh, again. So uh, although they struggled during most of uh, qualification matches, we saw a big improvement on playoff. The grab efficiently uh, hatches with the um, a wheel intake mechanism and score it to the rocket. Um, I hope the late late blooming during playoffs will continue during the season. It seems it became a, some sort of a tradition. Uh, <laughs> getting getting a great robot, having some uh, tough problems at the first event at the qualification and sometimes in playoff and then just fixing them and getting better and better as the season goes. Yeah. Um, so our eighth seed in the top 10 Israeli teams this weekend is 1937 Elysium Maccabim Reut. So Elysium played in the first event and made it to the semi final while the third alliance captain. There was a really, really good uh, cargo cycler. They took most of the cargo from the uh, feeder station and put it really efficient to the cargo ship. Uh, furthermore, they could climb to both the third and second level of the habitat and could climb to the third level from the second level. Uh, really unique ability. Um, defense couldn't handle them most of the time, and they were really efficient cargo scorers. Um, so the seventh uh, place is 30-75 Hadrim team, Hoda Sharon. Um, 2018's World Champion started the season when they already know they got a, a place in Detroit this year, and I think we saw a, a strategic decision, decision of the, this team to build a robot while they, they know the goal is not here, not the Israeli district, it's the World Championship. And I think it got, it got a real potential. Um, we saw the they focused in event two um, with cargoes to the cargo ship, and they make it efficiently. Um, we saw also some some tries for placing hatches uh, in the rocket. That, from what I see currently, the floor pickup mechanism of hatches is better than the feeder, um, but but I. I can totally see the process and improvement, um, and this team also got a real potential uh, to improve, and they got a lot of of uh, competitions to play until Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, I also think they would the be sixth uh, place. Okay. Oh, uh, I just also think they they would be a great robot this year in Israel, and we'll see them play hard. Uh, in the next event and also in the DCMP. I hope so. And to our sixth spot is 33-16 Debug Tel Aviv. Um, Debug got to the finals of event two, and I think they are one of the three most effective cargo scorer um, currently. Um, they focus mostly for scoring cargoes into the cargo ship. Uh, we didn't see a lot of tr of tries for scoring hatches, but if they if they will manage to play and score hatches like they play uh, with the cargoes, so they are very fast cyc cyclers. Mm -hmm. um, so now we are entering to the top five and our fifth team is 1574 Miss Car Miss Gab that won the first event this year. So Miss Car uh, Einstein last year 
uh, made a really unique robot uh, with a special arm that can do the full 180. Uh, they played really strong in the first event, uh, picked by the second alliance and won the event. They showed ability to play both to the cargo ship and the rocket and uh, very, very skilled drivers, uh, able to play both counter defense and a very effective offense. Uh, their climber was uh, really efficient and climbed, I think, around 10, 15 seconds every time. And I think with uh, a bit of improvement of controlling the arm, they can be one of the strongest uh, robots in the district. And I hope very good for them. So to the fourth place, it's 33-39 Bumble Big Fariona. Okay, so uh, Bumblebee, uh, as said before, won their first event. Uh, they finished first without much competition. Uh, their climber mechanism was the main reason they got so high. Uh, they climbed almost each match, uh, or I think it was each match. Uh, very good climber, very fast, uh, under 10 seconds. Um, other than that, we could saw that their cargo handler uh, improved during the event. Uh, they started out not so good, and then they just uh, improved as the as the time go, as we got to the playoffs. Um, also, um, nice uh, hatch panel system, but uh, they they could improve. Uh, they could improve it and get much better to the fourth event. I think the main thing that that helped Fariona uh, Bumblebee to win this event is their climbing mechanism. Um, and they can, they need and will improve in all other aspects, at, at, like I know this team. Um, that's it for, for them. And for our third spot, it's 43, 38 Falcons, Evan Yehuda. So Falcons won the second ever Blue Banner, uh, a very surprising team this year, uh, with a very dominant third uh, level climber and a very, very efficient uh, cargo ship uh, cycles for the cargo. And one of the only teams that could put a uh, hatch panel in the sandstorm with a really uh, consistency. Uh, their uh, partner with uh, Misgav in the second alliance and won the event. And I think that uh, the skilled drivers they got uh, helped them to handle the uh, strong defense of them. And they can be a really surprising and strong team uh, for the district this year. Yeah, as we can see, 43 38, it's not usually one of the top tier teams, but. This year, uh, we saw a very efficient and practiced drivers, and good, jo good job, Falcons. <laughs> Last year, uh, they, they didn't even qualify to the DCMP. They were one slot away. Uh, the improvement was huge this year. Yeah, really solid robot this year. So, for second, uh, team in the top 10 Israeli team this week it's 1577 steampunk from Ranana. So steampunk finished their event the first event in the fifth place in qualifications they were picked by orbit uh, 6090 from the to the first alliance um, they are the I believe it's safe to say the fastest robot in the world not only in Israel. Uh, super skilled driver, um, their cargo handling system is pretty good. Uh, they had some communication problems during the event, but uh, when they hadn't got, when they didn't have those problems, uh, the robot was working very effectively on, on the cargo. Uh, the edge panel system could use some improvement and. I know they're working on it right now. Um, yeah, very excited to see them next year, um, uh, next week. 
I want to shout out again to the driver of uh, Steampunk, to one of the most skilled drivers I saw in the field, able to maneuver really well against the defense. And I think with a little improvement in the uh, uh, manipulators of the robot, they can be, and with the special 180 ability of this robot, uh, they can be a really, really strong in the world level, and not only in the district level. So, um, <laughs> a, message, a message to our driver, stay calm, focus, <laughs> and we got a lot of practice to do. It's not the end, um, even with those compliments. And yeah, Itamar uh, tells some secrets about uh, improving, improving our hatches mechanism. So, um, yes, this is one of the improvements we are working on. Um, for the next event. Um, I mean, it, it's probably going to go up uh, around Saturday, uh, around Sunday, I think, uh, noon or afternoon, and everyone's going to see it the next day. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they will. So, our first seed, uh, you already know it if you watch <laughs> the two events, um, unanimously. 1690 oh. Orbit Vinyamina. Um, so Orbit show us they can, they can climb, they can put hatches during auto, and they, they fill more than once a whole rocket by themselves. Um, I think during all the matches in event one, they missed only one hatch in, in the auto. Um, something like 25 from 26 hatches, if I remember correctly. Um, super consi consistent to robot, robot. And not, in, not only in Israel, I think it was the most powerful robot uh, in the world in week one. They play really smart and efficient in the, on the rocket and yeah, they're the, already they already um, in world level. Yeah, they came uh, in a really good shape. Uh, very consistent uh, sandstorm. Very consistent uh, vision system. Um, they played a really good for the rocket, and in the finals, uh, in the playoff, they came a finalist uh, with about a, a bit uh, unable to play against the defense. Uh, uh, the second alliance uh, put against them, but I'm sure the very skilled drivers they got uh, will be able to uh, practice more and show one of the uh, best robots in the world. Yeah, I mean, each year we see that Orbitz uh, comes to the first event uh, with a robot in some level, and then it just get, keeps getting higher and higher as the, as the season goes, until in champs they're usually at world's level. Uh, I'm excited to see what's going to be, what it's going to be like this year. Yeah, last year uh, they didn't come ready as they come this year. Uh, and as Itamar said, they improved and got better and better to the DCMP and to the World Champs. But now it seems that they already are in a very high level, even in week one. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, good job, Orbit, and congratulations! You are our first um, first place in the top ten team. <laughs> By far. <laughs> By, By far. far. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's talk a bit about next week. What uh, are we going to have in uh, District Number Three? So, uh, in District Number Three, uh, we can see a lot of uh, the strong teams for the first two events. Uh, leading uh, 1574, uh, Miss Car from Miss Gov, 1577, Steampunk uh, from Ananana, 3075, Had Dream Team, uh, World uh, Champions, and 3833, Falcons, all uh, winners or finalists from the, their first events. Uh, in the teams to watch, we can see 56. Uh, 54 Phoenix uh, with their uh, very special rumbot and a very special uh, low cycler. 
3211 white team uh, uh, trying to walk out about the clamber, about the turret, and it can be one, one of the most dominant team in the event. And uh, 2231 Onyx Tronics uh, from Shoham, a really, really good uh, mechanical robot that can do uh, 180 with their elevator, uh, pick up pretty good, uh, looked pretty uh, solid in the second uh, district event. And uh, with a bit of practice, a bit of uh, more programming, I think they can be uh, a really strong team for this event. Uh, but by far, uh, the top four of this event uh, can dominate again with the uh, level three cli climbing, with the efficient cyclers. And I uh, can't wait to see the second event from uh, Falcons after the surprise in the first event. What are we going to have in the fourth event? So the fourth event will be one of the stacked event of this year. Um, the favorites are obviously 6090 Orbit, at least the on getting the first spot on qualification. Uh, but from my opinion, so it, it will be a much tougher uh, event than, than event one for Orbit. Uh, I believe that Bumblebee 3339, um, Thunderbolts 2630, will improve um, significantly and I believe with more teams like Debug 3316 uh, and EXO 7039, Orbit won't be the only team to get the full rocket. I believe uh, we will see more, more completed rockets in, in Event 4 and not only Orbit will be part of it. Uh, besides them, Elysium 1937 will continue to be efficient uh, in filling up cargoes into the cargo ship. I hope for them they will manage to, to put a few hatches on the low levels and to continue for, uh, and climb consistently to the level 3 hub. Um, besides them, I think more... Two teams that I want to mention is uh, Megiddo Lions 5038. Um, like, like Elysium, they are focusing on putting cargoes into the cargo ship. And in most of the matches, it, <coughs> it, they, they can fill, fill the cargo ship with, with many balls. Um, and 58. 59, 51 makers uh, assemble. Itamar, you want to say a few words about them? Yeah. Uh, so uh, they had some communication issues in the second event, but uh, when they worked, they worked uh, amazingly. Uh, they are also a low cycler robot. Uh, I think we are going to see them play hard in the in the fourth event. Um, also very could... consistent to the second level. Uh, 180 with their cargo mechanism, uh, with a bit more uh, working on the uh, communication side, it can be one of the best uh, low cyclers in the event. Mm -hmm. They could easily be, I believe, so like uh, 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 an alliance captain or a uh, first pick for, I mean, almost each alliance. A very stacked event with climbers, as you said. Uh, I think you can see around like seven or eight uh, third level climbers and uh, much more second level that can make it really tough to any of the high alliance uh, without disadvantage. And I think the battle around the, uh, uh, the, the points of the sandstorm, the points of the climbing can be the real factor between all those uh, good cyclers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, I think we are done for this week. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll be here next week. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.